What's going on guys? It's your boy Random Guy Kev here and uh, why do you feel fail? Because of you. Just gonna say it because of you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it may be because of you. Um, the, the topic I posted a couple weeks ago on my Instagram stories is why do you think airsoft fields fail or shut down? And I got a lot of responses on that. And I kind of just wanted to touch touch on that, you know, uh, talk about it a little bit and uh, get your guys' opinion on it. Why do fields fail? Um, every year, new fields pop up, new fields die. Um, I've seen a couple in, in my general area where they failed or in a sense shut down. Um, um, whereas new ones open up, they last, and they last. That's that's it. But I mean, why do you think fields fields shut down? A lot of them, a lot of the responses I got was location, the quality of the field, the field reps, um, the business practices, poor management, money, the players. I mean, all that can be lumped in there with it. Um, let's start. Let's start first with the field itself. Um, granted, a lot of fields aren't located in prime locations, but sh you have to think at their business model. If there's a field, it's like six other fields in one general location, they're trying to tap an un un untouchable market. So a lot of the players that normally play, like say, uh, like over here, they wouldn't normally drive down there just because, or or drive anywhere because Hey, like that's, I mean, I have six other fields near me. Why would I drive that down there? Granted, like once you, once you have too many fields in one location, it starts to kind of flood the market in a sense. And best business practices is to kind of be in a different area, be in a general area that nobody has touched yet and just start marketing yourself. Um, business practices as far as maintaining your field, making sure the upkeep is good. I've seen fields, I know of fields, that they take money from players and they say they're gonna do maintenance and don't do anything. And that money's pocketed and the field continues to go to go to shit, literally. Um, refs, refs, refs are a big, huge part of, of field, field management, refs and uh, management. Um, granted, refs sometimes get scared to like, you know, step up to players and tell them like, yo, don't do that here. Um, because granted, it's like, they don't, they don't want to feel, pe make people feel unwelcome. But at the same time, it's like, bro, like put your foot down. You're the ref here. You work here. Tell them to stop what they're doing. Um, sometimes you, and again, you got to talk to management because management doesn't care, then the refs won't care. And I've seen a lot of field start well, management, management at some fields have started going on YouTube, looking at what people say about their fields, how how's their uh, field perceived, and I think that's the best practice you can do. You can you can look at your field, Google, quickly YouTube your field and see, all right, what videos are people dropping this week? Wow, cheater videos. Let me go locate. Let me go locate this person. Let me see if I remember him from the video cameras. Let me see if uh, I can bring up his information. And then it's just one of those things like, I mean, you did that to yourself. You put yourself on YouTube for any type of issues. Uh, and that's and that's how, uh, if you're a smart manager, general manager, owner of a field, we have all these tools and they're starting to use them. So a lot of people go on YouTube for clout and this and that. I mean, you're giving yourself away. This is like you committing a crime and then posting it on social media like, hey guys, I did it. I'm the one that did it. I'm, I, I, did the, I, did the, I did the deed, I did it. Here's my face, here's my Instagram, here's my phone number, here's my home address. Come on guys, gotta be smarter. Gotta think, gotta, gotta think outside the box. You gotta, you gotta be a little bit smarter because people that are trying to maintain their fields they will go on those social media platforms and find you. And and they they prefer the newer player versus the player that constantly comes in and causes trouble. I mean, you pay your little $20 to come play, but then they're thinking about the, the new business, the rental. Uh, he, he rented a gun, he rented a, a, a mask, he rented a shield, a chest plate. 
Uh, he came and played his first time. Now he's buying a gun. Now he's buying a gun. Now he's buying real gear, gloves, all these additional accessories. That's making them money. They're not thinking about you because you have everything that you need. You may never upgrade for another two years. So all you're doing is paying an entry fee. They don't mind losing your business to get new business that can bring them additional new business, especially if they're going to bring themselves in and then introduce new friends to it. Like, yo, I started Airsoft. Do you want to try it? Okay, cool. You guys have to think, think, I feel like a lot of Airsofters don't think about that general, general concept when it comes to businesses. You got to remember fields are businesses and general managers and field owners. They're okay with losing your business if it brings them more business. So just, just a reminder, those people that are okay with mag dumping and full autoing, posting it online and then uh, sharing it all over the place. I mean, I mean, there are crowds that do it and like I see the pe people share the videos with me. I'm like, bro, that's crazy. I mean, but sometimes general managers, owners, they'll look for people like that. Like, oh, this was at my field? Let me find this person. Oh, what day he came? Mm. Okay, so I remember this crowd that came. Mm, okay. And they'll do their research. I mean, that's... Some, some field owners are trying to get rid of that so their field does not die. They don't want their field to die. Um, so we talked about, you know, the, the field, the, the staff, management. Now it comes back down to the community, the community itself. What is the community doing to help maintain their local field? As far as bringing new players, um, helping new players, uh, I, you know that's a big thing with me. I like helping new players because a lot of times that new player that you helped out, they could potentially be like, damn, I got advice from so-and-so and uh, I think I want to pick up that gun today. I think I want to pick up that gear or I just want to pick up, you know, just gear, protective gear. And then next time I'll come back and talk to somebody else random and, and pick up a gun. And it gets them into into airsoft. Then it, a, a lot of times, they'll start, they'll post one or two pictures, and their friends will be like, "Oh, what is that? That's paintball." You know, guys, it starts with, "Oh, that's paintball." No, it's airsoft. Come airsoft with me. It's fun. They're they're having a special day. They're having an event, or like just come out. So they have open play like every every weekend. That's how we continue to to continue to grow this uh, airsoft because. It's the community, it comes back down to the community. You see somebody being a dickhead, stop them. It's not always it's not always up to the reps to be like, hey, oh, stop. I mean, people call it being a, a airsoft justice warrior. No, it's making sure your community, your field is good. Like you're making sure everybody is having a great time. You pay for you, granted, you didn't pay for your other friends, but you can't have your friends going around being dicks. Like, it ruins the entire fun for everyone in general. Um, again, it's like, I play with rentals. I, I I love playing with rental guns. I love playing with rental people because it, it just gives me, it just heightens my skills. Uh, have you tried using a rental gun? A, most places you would use a G&G &G combat machine. Those aren't bad guns. It's just, it's not tweaked up to how you want it to be. You go out there, use that without a sight. You're just using, uh, and you're just going out there to shoot. I bet you will have the most fun of your life. It's, that's why I constantly, in a lot of my videos, I'm constantly like, ah, you know what? Let me grab that G&G. &G. Let me throw a tracer on it. Let me just go play. I mean, it, it kind of, in, in a sense, it shows your skills. Instead of you using your tuned up gun, I mean, I'm gonna dumb it down one day. I ain't using this. I'm gonna use my rental today. Boom, there we go. And have fun. It's it's always good to make sure, I mean, you. a lot of people don't care about other people around them, but at, at some point, it's like the people around you, you gotta make sure everybody's having a good time. Like, oh, this is the regular field that you come to? Oh, okay, let me make sure. I've never seen these guys here before. You guys having a good time? Oh, this is your first time here? Cool, like, yo, y'all you, can follow me around. You can just. Tag, tag, tag along with me. You got it's it's all about the community of that specific area, or in the area around. That's 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 how you keep your field going. A lot of these fields die because that can that those players don't care about what's going on. They care more so about getting their little kill streak, getting the little video montages, trying out their new gun, and hurting people. A lot of people go 
to fields with the intent to hurt people. And that's, that's terrible. But you got to think about now, what happens when that field closes? Where, do, where are you going to play? You going to go play in your backyard now? You going to go, you going to go play in the woods? Like you had a great field near you. Now it's shut down, gone. Who's going to take your guns? Who, who, who are you going to go? What place are you going to go to for events? When I hear people say that there's not enough events in my area, um, a lot of times these companies don't come out to specific areas if there's not a field around. A field that actually sells their products. So it's like sometimes you may not see them at outdoor fields because some outdoor fields don't have shops. You'll mostly see them at indoor fields and some outdoor fields that maybe sell one or two products. It's more so these, these, these companies won't come out because hey, okay, there's no, there's no shop there, so I can't sell my product. I'm not coming there. Why should I show up? Why should I show up? You guys don't sell my products there, and it's like I can direct people online. That's it. But you guys, gotta, you guys have to be mindful. A lot of times these fields shut down. Field maintenance, staff, management, the community, money. <laughs> like they still need to make money so whatever arguments you get into on the field a lot of times they don't need to be arguments you could just be like yo you got it yo we good just like we're just following the rules let's let's take a step back a lot of times those those little tidbits deter people from coming to to the field coming to play back you got to be mindful a lot of us have been playing i've been playing for two years a lot of people have been playing five six years a lot of people still have the same guns that they started with or they tweaked up a little bit and not purchasing anything new. We gotta look at bringing in new players, making sure uh, if they do buy anything. I mean, people people buy things all the time, but the moment you buy something, it's kind of like, ah, right, that's it. I'm kind of good. Like, I'm, not, I'm good for the next two, three years. And it's like, all right, now we gotta bring in the next crew, the next crew of people that, that's gonna come into Aerosol. I'm like, all right, they need to make sure they purchase, make sure they purchase some gear or something like that. To just keep, you know keep the residual income coming for some of these companies because it's like the only way we get innovation is by bringing new players in they get new customers we we, we build a whole new market um and and we grow from there so that's that's a huge thing for a lot of these companies and i'm letting you guys know it's a huge thing growing the community um a lot of times people ask why aren't there's big events on the east coast or there, there, there are events sometimes here or there. I mean, community demand comes back right down to it. Like I said, it comes back down to the community and the people in the area to make it happen. Um, and he, no one says to, to, to be a justice warrior, but at the same time, if you come in with a crew, crew of guys, you pay for yourself, pay for yourself to come in, Make sure they're not, they're not, those are your people. Make sure they're not, they're not being dicks. They're making, making sure everybody's good. Switch up teams sometimes. Don't be, you see a bunch of rentals. All right, let's stack teams. Us up against the rentals. Come on, guys. Like, switch it up sometimes. You gotta, you gotta be like, yo, fuck, F that. I wanna shoot you guys. I wanna shoot you guys. And you know that gets your teammates mad when you guys can't all team up for at least um, all the rounds. If, if they miss you, like if you guys are on a different team for one round, they get flustered because they know, you, you know their tactics, you know how they're gonna move. So you're gonna, you're gonna try to counter that every time. So what are your thoughts on that? Why do fields fail? Is it the community, the, the reps, management, money? Like what, what are your thoughts on that? Let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my page. I have some more content coming from you guys, but I kind of just wanted to leave you with that thought. Uh, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.